Temperatures are expected to hit more record highs this week across the central and eastern U.S. In Chicago, people enjoyed the spring-like weather yesterday. Yeah, they did. On Saturday, the high was 70 degrees. Dozens of cities broke temperature records over the weekend. Dean Reynolds is in Chicago, where the high is expected to be 63 today. Dean, good morning. Good morning. Well, it's been so warm here over the last couple of days that some of Chicago's winter destinations, like this ice skating rink here, have had to close. Chicago's lakefront shoreline looked more like Miami Beach over the weekend. We thought we were going to need lots of heavy coats, and it's just gorgeous. We're enjoying it. Three straight days of record highs had people trading their winter hats and coats for shorts and t-shirts. Nothing I would ever think I would wear in mid-February in Chicago. Golf courses in neighboring Indiana opened a month early. Puts a little extra pep in your step when, uh, when the sun's out in the winter. Climatology professor David Robinson says a steady stream of high pressure has kept this winter's brutal storms on the west coast from traveling east. Think of this as a mountain of air um, that's often sinking air, and that creates clear skies, helps to warm things up with increasing sunlight. It melts away the snow, and it has served as a block to keeping some of the stormier weather out of the east in recent weeks. A couple years ago, sub-zero wind chills had Midwesterners covering up from head to toe by whatever means necessary. This one is one of my personal favorites, kind of a cross between Nanook of the North and Yosemite Sam. And while ski races and ice fishing competitions may now be in jeopardy, not all winter activities have been a total meltdown. Hundreds showed up to this brief ice festival in Ohio. I haven't read the long-term forecast, but if this continues, I'm going to be outside. Yeah. No question. Now, the balmy weather is expected to continue through Wednesday. And for those of you keeping score at home, Chicago has now gone at least two months without one inch of measurable snow. Oh, wow. Gail? In the wow. winter. Dean, we are keeping score. Thank you very much. Who would think that it would be warmer on the East Coast and the Midwest than it is in California? Advantage, New York. That's yeah. right. We, we like that, Alex.